Look at that, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. What the f happened? What's Oh, you moved it around? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had a, a separate. I was, was trying to make two eyes and nose and a mouth. It was perfectly Look. set up, and so now I gotta do it all over again. Yeah, well, you don't like my um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it, but. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, so uh, we're getting things going more on the truck here. Um, basically what we're doing today is we're gonna pull this gas tank down and we're going to try to figure out how to adapt it to get a different type of fuel pump, either external or internal. Um, right now all the cables, I'm pulling a bunch of cables down because I'm gonna remove the cables and the lines that we're not gonna use in the truck. So for now, I'm going to keep this, which is a um, sorry shift linkage, and this is a shift linkage. This cable is the old speed sensor cable, so this is getting removed. I'm going to remove this cable, and then this was an old clutch cable because it was a cable-driven uh, transmission, and now it's going to be hydraulic. So removing this, uh, this cable over here is going to be throttle. So we're hopefully that actually may fit in today. So today we might start making some sort of bracketry for that but basically once the fuel tank is down and we got rid of the so we're gonna get rid of these two as well these are brake lines and uh, breather lines from the old and uh, breather line from the engine brake line from the back but obviously mm -hmm. since our new suspension we're gonna change the brake lines in the back so we're actually gonna remove the front bumper as well and we're gonna figure out our cooling system a little bit today too as well so we yeah, got radiator cool, stuff yeah there. radiator stuff because we want to see if we can put a bigger radiator in so we got these are co coolant heater and then some of these little things are vents these are vents for other things that we're actually going to go follow up and figure out exactly where they go and this is also a heater line as well so for now we're going to see if we can leave them there and see if they have the ability to flow enough and stuff like that and then uh mike uh here is playing with um, basically a rear subframe. Man, I wouldn't call it a subframe brace, more of like a lateral bracing for the engine. So we're gonna put a bar from here down and across and it's gonna be more of a bracing. And then that we're- bar gonna, over there. Yep, that bar right there. And then we're gonna see if we can tie that bracing into the suspension also to try to keep the suspension in place. So that's something we're gonna play around with today, but more of like a lateral brace basically okay saying before we pull this front, front fascia bumper bumper fascia it's really just plastic but in case anyone didn't know it's really just a piece of plastic and then this is behind it that's it there's no actual bumper just plastic uh and this is what we wanted to look at here so we're gonna kind of start coming up with some sort of game plan i did pull the gas tank out as you can see down here uh level sensor and then this is like return uh pressure breather so we're gonna do something over here that we're gonna show you guys later in in the future but i think something cool is gonna happen with this gas metal, tank that, yeah it's metal oh, so you're gonna make it be a sump we may maybe maybe not you know we're gonna have to just find out that's the future that's sump. yeah that's the <laughs> that's the uh what is what do they call that the um they call that like a uh you know something to like get people going for later you know it's yeah. like what's gonna happen later um anyway clutch cable uh, this is actually the clutch cable, this big long thing on top. And this was broken, but this was the this is the throttle cable. Oh, I'm sorry, not the throttle cable. Speed 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 sensor cable, because that's how it was driven back in the day. So it was broken. So that used to that used to drive the speedometer. But we're keeping the clutch the clutch cable handy. And the throttle cable looks like uh, I can show you guys when I lift it back up. But the throttle cable does look like it's going to kind of flow oh, nicely. Although yeah yeah so. That's staying in there. 
And uh, right now we're gonna start brainstorming some stuff, look over the coolant lines, and we'll go from there. Okay, you're gonna maintain the same radiator problem? I or? don't think so. It's not It's not that thick? I don't think so. We, we us and Sony, we're all gonna kind of collab and look at it. I don't know if we're gonna use the same radiator. Well, it can definitely, a, a big one could go right there in that, that spot, that's I, pretty big. I, I think, so it has some extra rooms like on the side, so I think it may be able to hold okay. something extra, a little like longer and Thicker, so let's see what happens. Alright, Puma, you're banging away at this thing. Turns out the control. Small truck or small guy. Okay, you can do that. Like a boiling. Oh, the radiator over there? Yes, the silicone and maybe here to see. If it, if it could go here because we could take this thing off. We could. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could modify it, you know, like from here. It's just here. the thing I'm worried about is the width, really, not the height, because I feel like the yeah. height, even if. Well, you measure, measure from here to here, and then okay. the other Yeah, let me go. Look at that. Taking this radiator out. Wow, that, that thing is thin, man. That thing is thin. Another thing is driving mad, mad hills in the um. Yo, Chad's gonna put that in the race car. What you talking about? I know, man. <laughs> Okay, so that's out. So we removed that, yeah, today to figure out the dimensions here to try to get a thicker core radiator. So we removed that, removed some coolant lines and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, this radiator is kind of interesting. It goes, this is the bottom coolant line, this would be the top coolant line. Yeah. And then you actually fill it on the inside of the car. So you open the door, there's a cap on the inside of the car. That you fill. That's where your radiator cap hard, is. Hard line. Yep, yeah. hard line goes back to the motor. So we're gonna see if we could utilize these lines again, and that's what we're trying to figure out how to put a thicker core radiator. Okay. Why don't we do one of the CSFs though? Cause that would fit in here like perfect, and then it's just thicker color. They're like genius. The size of I didn't this would be think... perfect for the little Dude, CSF. They're not even that. They're not even that wide. They're... No, they are still like beats here. They're like... No, no, no. But I'm saying yeah, they're, they're not even that they're wide. They're like wide. probably it's like here. inside of there, so we can still frame. Well, look, this one is we. This, this, one, this is a this is a half of an inch. Bigger. If it's one half inch bigger, we just need to get thin. Just gonna open it up. So basically, what we're doing here now is we made a back portion of it that is going to be like a cradle system that's going to reinforce the back of the basically subframe brace where yeah. the lower control arms mount there. So we're going to weld some tabs off of this, and then we're going to have a bar that's going to join these two together. Um, but we're gonna have Himes in line with it uh, just so that it's removable because when you pull the swap from this, it's actually gonna drop straight from the bottom. So this is kind of a cage. Yeah, kind of. basically just framing it up and, and then just building like a cradle for the rear end yeah. uh, just to strengthen and brace everything up. All right, nice. Do you, um, do you, um, change, you change out the springs already for? Um... Uh, yes, so it's a heavier spring rate. Uh, I went to Applied Racing Technology and they were able to help us out with getting a heavier spring to make sure that when the car sits down, even because before with the uh, lighter springs that were in there, when you'd lower the car down, you could literally just push it all the way down and it would just bottom out on bottom the tires. Out, yeah. So uh, he got us some heavier springs so that we were able to get that adjusted. So it now we out. got the springs where they need and to those be. Are, those are Mustangs, right? Off a Mustang? Yeah, those are uh, Mustang coilovers that oh, are cool. on the, on the uh, rear. Of the Cobra? Yeah, Cobra. The my Cobra. Cobra. So I took this off the throttle body. Basically, um, this was facing forward and we're gonna face the throttle cable. You can see we're gonna face it backwards. You see how that works right there? Yeah. So we're gonna face it backwards. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna see, I don't know if we're gonna use this fully, but right now I'm gonna try to modify this. So basically it was this way and I'm gonna spin it around and weld it on this way. And then this tab was over here and I'm gonna take this tab and put it on the opposite. No, I'm going to put it, yes. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side and mm -hmm. I'm gonna twist it a little out of angle so that we kind of get this kind of throttle cable angle. When you pull the throttle, it'll go yeah, like this. Got that, okay, cool. So that's what I'm gonna to attempt to modify right now. Today? Today, along with some other things. Oh, look at this little fan right here. What was this fan right here for? To like that cool, fan cool is actually stuff. to cool like the end. It, it blows, it blows this way. Yeah, and cool it's the engine. The, the, the gas tank is right here, which was on the floor. We could talk about that later, but the gas tank is right here and it, the gas tank stops like right here and it just pulls air from like on top of the gas tank and blew right onto the engine. So, oh, so we're just gonna leave this here to like, yeah, we could still force induction. Yeah. 
force induction. You see, you want intake. five horsepower quick. Real, hey, I mean, it's, real on, deal. it's on the intake manifold side. Yeah, that so cool. Yeah, the switch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna try to see if most of the factory wiring will still work. Work and try to keep some stuff up in there, make it look. Yes. You know, it's still like the acne. Yes. All right. As you can see, some of these things. Oh, that's that, a flat for, flat for, that for pressure. the pressure. Yep. Pressure. Pressure flat. And then you can see here, we're gonna try to utilize some of the things that you saw up front. Those are the metal bars. I I, I mark them because I followed them all back just to make sure. And then the okay. other radiator is actually comes around on this oh, side. side. Yep. All right, cool, man. Enough updates coming. Bars gonna just go like a straight bar. You don't want it to go like this, two of them. And then you put the bar in Does between. Does he want to do a high? I thought he said no, no to do a high. I thought he said just bolt it. Oh, I, oh, okay. Well, I understood by bolting it. I thought he meant two of these together. You put the like yeah. the bar. Oh, goes, so then because it would be a little bit stronger than because so this. Then he it, wants to just do a heim then, is what you're saying. No, not a heim, just a bolt, but this way. Because this way, I feel like it would be weaker. You see. All right, so then we'll just do two a of these like this, and then two of them like this. Just and get, we the get the measurement. Get the measurement. Yeah, but we're gonna have to Omar. make that other. Side. And then time to cut the mill out too. He should have that, I think. That, he should that. because we because made that for the traction I did it for bar. The front. Yeah. We made those for the traction right bar. Right there. Yeah, that, that's that. Well, we need four. Yeah, and that's, that's too wide of bar. Oh, let's remake. Yeah, he just need to remake my. Yeah, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. What happened? What? Oh, you moved it around? Yeah. Well, I didn't know you had a, a separate. Was I, was trying, I, was, I was trying to make two eyes and nose and a mouth. It was perfectly yeah. set up, and so, now I gotta do it all over again. Yeah, well, you don't like my. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it, but. <laughs> oh, damn it. He's looking at you. Okay. Uh, That's gonna just, rearrange. Let me just rearrange real quick. That took me all of two seconds of my life. God damn it. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I just playing. So, the reason why I'm doing it like this is to get the angles right and hope i'm gonna i don't know about strength like i said this is just like a test run if i don't like this i'm gonna make the whole thing all over again okay. yeah i'll test tack then test go back. tack yep so we've got a test piece though it's still hot we're yeah. gonna just go up there with it and uh see how it fits, see how it fits. Right. try to do another angle yeah. that's cool Back here, check out the back of it. How are y'all gonna look lit though? Alright, at the customer's request, the of course. We're changing the suspension. To um, camera gang camera gang. Gang gang. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to get that award this year. <laughs> camera gang gang. Gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys in this thing up yeah, now? Yeah, this is what we were talking about before, uh, but I just did a couple of packs here for now and just to see kind of get like a better idea, idea. Of, of what we want but that's the idea we were looking for so this is pulling at a per since that's a perfect circle it's actually pulling at a perfectly uh i would say like symmetrical distance from where it's supposed to pull in back yeah. so it doesn't have to necessarily pull perfectly straight like people think but because the circle so yeah. as long as this portion is flat but i'm going to tighten this up and tighten it up and then i think what's going to happen is we're going to end up running this kind of like back around like that a little bracket a little, okay. it's a little bracket tree something like that so i'm going to put this together and see how it works play with the gas pedal a little bit and yeah. then see what That's happens it. put the put the <laughs> hey guys, so uh, what we're doing here today, so we're going to combine now. <laughs> Trying to cut this off. So we're just cutting the ears off on the end here, and then basically this side we're going to box this in. Um, this was when the coilovers were not in, where we first had the lower control arm set. Um, but because of the angle of where we need the coilover to sit, um, we've actually moved it back. This, and then we're going to, to yeah, we're going to be moving the top mounting point as well uh, back a little bit further to straighten that out some. So basically, I'm just cutting this edge off here mm -hmm. and then just boxing this in. All right, cool. What do you guys think, camera gang? Gang gang. Yo, me no camera gang. No, the boy business. We don't do that. My <laughs> that one. Just half the difference. So if you get cut here, cut here, right, and then use that to um, notch that, but notch it the same. If you draw a line here like this, that's where the center line is going to be the notch.
What, what, what? <laughs> Camera bracket done. Look, all braced up over here. Yeah, so uh, gas pedal right here, fully functioning now. I'm using existing cable. Uh, redid the bracket. We're gonna pull the bracket off. I'm gonna weld it completely. I used the existing aluminum bracket that was mm -hmm. on the throttle body and then some other existing mounts. But I don't know if it's gonna be its permanent location, but well, it, it works. definitely works good. It definitely, no thinking, nothing major, so. That's nice. So, that's it, guys. We're gonna go from there, yep. That's how you make a cable bracket for your K-Swap Acme. Getting that sump treatment on the Acme truck. The return, we use that for the return. But, uh, so, here we had a, we went back and we had to cut uh, this bar going this way. We found out when we did it, you know, we first initially did this, um, we didn't really take in consideration. We did, but we didn't. So yeah. uh, where the shock was going to be, um, we went ahead and well, this bar first. Yeah. Um, instead of, you know, trying to figure out where the shock went. So when we did this, when we put this bar, that's where the shock was supposed to go. So now we have to move it. We have to move that because with the way the shock was sitting was too far back this, this way. Okay. So what we're going to do is, since this is all braced it up now, now we, we went ahead and chopped it off the bar, yeah. took all that stuff off. We're gonna put the bar straight up this way here, like this. Just so now, up. yeah, okay. straight up this way. And then when we have the, the shock in here, like this, the shock could be exactly where it needs to be. Because before, this oh, where the bars, right. oh, yeah, yeah okay. the bars was going this way, so. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, and this is all done up now? This yeah, size. this is done. Yeah, it's all weld, welded up, and we just need to bolt it up. But we wanted to just keep it to hold everything together right now. Yeah, especially yeah. before it cut. Now, right, once cool. we get there, we'll add some more bars and stuff. We're gonna brace all this up here. We're gonna box all that stuff in once we get all that. So I think they did it already. They have the pieces to, um, to box everything to up. Box it up. Okay. All right, guys, it's coming yeah. together. All of is done and on, the, on the brace, that bar. Yeah, so as you can see here where the tank is gonna go, the tank is gonna go in the stock location right here. Yeah. We put everything back on, and then uh, we got the throttle cable on. We had to make a bracket for it, um, for that. Um, as far as the coolant system, we were thinking about putting a, it's gonna come back here. We were thinking about maybe putting a heater core here, yeah. where it's always on, but it's just a heater core, it's just gonna loop itself, so it could cool down a little bit. Because we found out that even on our, in, in our van, yeah. in our uh, Sprinter van, when we had the uh, the the back heater yeah. core, when we had that back there, when it was on, it dropped the temperature a lot. Really? And then okay. when we took that off, the temperature spiked up. Spiked so up. we're going to do the same concept here because we're going to try to use the stock um, radiator. As you can see, it's really, really thin. We don't oh, have to cut nothing out here. So. You're just gonna just sit, just sit, put by the same stock right there in there? Yeah. With, a, then, with a heater thing in the back? With the, yeah, with a heater thing in the back. So, and we're gonna try to find if, you know, if we can't do it, we're gonna try to find like a, maybe a three core where we could duplicate the same The same stock. exact size. Yeah, because so. it's a little bit smaller than the, uh, the Civic one. It's like an inch. Yeah. It's like an so inch. Um, okay. 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 That's fine. Radiator is Radiator's gonna go. Yep. And this car is coming together. We're back we on it, as you can tell. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to figure out uh, the cable, the shifter part. The shifter part. I don't think it's um, the harness already. We're gonna wire it in, so it's not gonna be too too bad. I mean, but it'll be the same shifter style setup as the MR2s and all that, right? Same Correct. But I much. think we might be able to use this one. We just have to, have to build a bracket. Or bracket so for, yeah, okay. I have to build a bracket. So I don't really think we even need to do anything special. I think the easier we do it. Um, to make it simple, yeah. the better it is for us. You know? That's true, that's true. Getting the bottom of the rear shocks all boxed in. After Mike's done with this, we're gonna put it back up in here. As someone explained last time, just making some adjustments. Kind of getting it lined up pretty quick. Yeah, so just getting everything lined up, I'm gonna have to cut some more a little bit further down and then we're gonna box all the rest of this in, but we're gonna get it to where the the shock will actually sit perfectly center in between the lower control arm and the top mount. Mm -hmm. And then once we have that in line, we'll go ahead and tack that in place and then we're gonna make some plates and build out the rest of it to reinforce, reinforce the rest everything. of it for the top. All right, cool. 
So we got the Aki here and we, you guys can see now we did some stuff a little differently and I'm gonna tell you why. Initially we made these this bar and this bracing and we brought it up and we had this idea where the shock was gonna go and our idea didn't work the way we thought it was gonna work. So to get better geometry, we cut that lateral bar out that went over here. We put a straight bar up and now uh, as you can see here, we're boxing in, reboxing the frame and basically we changed the shock location to pivot the arm a little more properly than it used to be because it wasn't pivoting correctly. The shock angles were a little off and they were not binding, but it just didn't look right. So now we have it more proportional for the geometry and we're going to go ahead and weld all this in. But you can see on this side too, what it was looked like, we cut the whole box out. So this side only has the shock mount right now, but we're gonna box in this portion as well. And then on both sides, like you see, we added the bracing straight up with a little plate, and that is gonna brace straight up and down now. And they already, they already uh, seen this yeah, one. Yeah, I think you guys already saw that, and you saw the throttle cable, yeah, well. and we're still, we worked a lot on this. It took, you know, quite some time to do this portion. So we're gonna jump back onto the under portion and the cooling and fuel and stuff. Uh, the fuel tank we did play with a bunch. I'm not sure if we're gonna use the existing fuel tank or get a fuel tank, but we're gonna try to use the existing fuel tank right now and try to make right, like a sump. Yeah. Yep, sump with an external. Um, this this actually had a factory external fuel pump from factory. That's how these trucks run. The fuel pump sits like right next to the tank, but we're gonna try to make it into like a sump. Uh, for just better flow and stuff like that for the K-Series. Uh, and that's pretty much where we're at. We're definitely gonna try to start some wiring, some cooling, some fuel, kind of like all at the same time. Like you guys saw, I labeled a bunch of stuff under here because, uh, well, actually, I don't think you saw that. I ripped out a bunch of things that we're not gonna use and I kept a bunch of things that we are gonna use. Yeah, I, I showed him earlier. Oh, yeah. you did see that? Yeah, so some of this like is the harness that's gonna go to the tail lights and bunch of stuff up here so we're hoping to try to use the factory fuel with the sump right here kind of and the sump will feed into the fuel pump to feed the um will feed right underneath nice. the rail yep okay. What's up guys? As you can see here, we got everything welded up and secured. The original placement of the shocks were set too far back. So it was angling them, uh, you know, way, way far and it wasn't putting direct pressure on the actual shock itself. So we were having an issue with finding the right uh, weight of springs that we needed for it. So we ended up just basically moving everything forward. So all this has been cut and then we went ahead and welded it further forward, boxed everything in, reinforced it, and then basically covered everything else outside of that. Uh, so the next step here is basically gonna go through, just clean up this all along the side a little bit more. We're going to sandblast it all, and then we're going to undercoat the entire chassis as well. Take the engine out, everything, right? Yeah, motor's coming out, everything. Uh, so the next step is gonna be to just finish up the shifter linkage. We already got the throttle cable complete. So after we get done with the shifter linkage then we'll go ahead and pull the swap from there and get everything started on getting the undercoating done. Okay, nice. Pretty, some pretty nice wells there though. Knock it out. <laughs> Came out good. Came Everybody out really good. good. So there it is guys, a new improve. <laughs> Jake, silence other lines. But yep, everything looks nice. And it sits pretty good now on the ground also. We can lower it down for them real quick and show them. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other wheel put on. It back on. And then, yeah, okay. put that back on, and then we can actually put it back on the ground because it hasn't been on the ground since yeah. we cut everything out. All right, cool. So, see you guys. Yep. Sometimes you know it's just trial and error, and just keep on moving. But that's just one little one little part, but you know, major part. You know. So, this is a new design. What you guys think? What you guys think? all done with it we're gonna get it aligned you know adjust the camber and the toe 
Yeah, because right now we just basically went through with trying to set it on the ground, just basically eyeball it to get it as close as we can. But once it's all ready and running, then we'll go ahead and take it over and have it aligned by Tony over there at TR Auto Works. TR Auto Works, yep. Dow it. Do it, do me one more time. Give thanks, so K-Tune. K-Tune. Shout out to do it. Pronounce his name, go. It's do it. Do it. Yeah. As yeah. Uncle Sam says, do it to me one more time. Put his song yeah. in there too. You yeah, I'm gonna drop a song, song right there. Link song. in the description. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it looks better, right? Looks yeah, looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and basically just. Is it on the ground? Yeah. No, it's yeah. not all the way down. Oh, I have to way. take these straps off because it's not gonna allow it to go all the way down okay. until I take those off. Okay, okay. You wanna leave it here today, or are you gonna put it by the car? It's like in or? Um, I'm gonna take it off now because the next thing is gonna be working on a cantilever setup for the shifter linkage. Yeah. So that'll be next that I need to on the ground to do that. And then once that's all set up, the fuel tank and everything's done. We're just having that powder coated. Yep. The next step from there uh, is basically just to disassemble everything and then just go ahead and uh, sandblast everything underneath and then get everything freshly coated. See what Mike's doing, we're just taking off the straps, put the straps on it just to hold it down even though it's on the lift because sometimes you know it's kind of uneven weight and kind of sketch, you know what I mean? So, kind of sketch. <laughs> we don't need with no sketch business, no sketch business. Yeah, this thing doesn't fit on the on the lift the greatest, so we just want to make sure it's all secure. Yeah. No, it's all the way down. See it? Good. Yep, everything's good. That's so good. see, space better spring rates too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had to go with the stiffer spring rate because the previous ones that were in there, along with the angle, um, it it affects what spring rate you would need. So we tried to straighten it a little bit more, and then we went with a little bit heavier spring rate because before, when you would press down on it, yeah, you can literally bottom it all the way out. But yeah. As you can see now, even no, putting yeah. weight on it, don't even go all yeah. the way. Yeah. Yep. And you can you can upgrade to better spring even more stiffer. Yeah, you can you can change out the springs. The, the springs are pretty easy to replace. Cool, um, cool. All right, guys. So, so you guys can tell. You see, we we use some of our arm. That's our drag arm right there. You know, a low, our our um, type R lower control arm adjusted. So to I'll tell you guys, in there. our camera kit. So Frankenstein S one. It's definitely Frankenstein. I was telling him earlier that like, if you guys want to do an all-wheel drive kit on a car. You could just do your measurements, find a tunnel, make sure it has a tunnel, and then buy a kit and use it. If you're a fab person, it's a good start, you know, than to try to fab it up yourself. You know, if you're gonna use a Honda stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So we tell them like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Got them cars killing speeds and just sound like artillery. It's all will and deep, almost like a war machine. Like it's man for the infantry, Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines. Now they clock triple digit speeds and they got them on the bases. Must be all the innovation. Watch them racing information. Got the gauges twitching crazy, switching up the pace. Shipping in a Civic or an S2K. This is not your daily S1 always. Gripping pavement, S1, S1, you gon' want a test run. All wheel drive in the lane in the left one. S1, S1, you gon' want a test run. All wheel drive in the lane in the left one. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel gripping, full, full wheel gripping, gripping. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel gripping, we'll have you gripping, don't get caught. So. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never sleeping. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. Them wheels are always we'll gripping. Gripping, don't get caught slipping even on the straights, yeah Warming up that A-sex Florida got the street cred We rolling down the street quick Got that MSD switch 